Okay. It's like the new oh. Texas hot spot. It's, oh. it's what's happening now. It's, it's oh. you know what I'm saying. It's where it's a hustler's paradise. Having a child as a single parent, growing up with him was good, and we had our days. Yellow would fight, and I used to pick him up. And I'm not a ghetto grandparent, but uh, I would get out there, and honey, yeah, I looked through the rearview mirror, and if I saw my grandson. I was doing that string this little pinky right here. Kind of like being like that, hey, because I was here fighting. Yeah, he didn't do nothing but fight. That right. I'm on. It's Oak Cliff. It's a hood. But it, it's, it's where, you know, it's grimy. You know, that's where a lot of cats get to that money at. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people from Dallas, you know, you got certain areas. West Dallas, Oak Cliff, Pleasant Grove, and. Oak Cliff was really one of the cities in Dallas that stands out the most, you know what I'm saying? A lot of rappers can't go back to the hood, man. This man right here got a lot of respect, man. He do for the community. With the, the fashion, with the cats making the paper, and you know, the whips and the women, all that there, you know. Ooh, Oak Cliff is, that's the hood. See, Maria known for like, it ain't no neighborhood where you can just be like, yeah, I'm from there. You know what I'm saying? Cause everybody know everybody, really. Even like the niggas that come over here and hustle and shit. It ain't no popular hood that motherfucker just claim like that. You know what I'm saying? So the ones that stick out, the niggas gonna know that. You feel me? Right here, this the how when my daddy got killed that. I was 12. I was 12. It was on Mother's Day, I was 12. I was, I was turning 13 that October. I just remember we pulled up from like the back way and my mama parked the car like kinda like where the um where that orange little cone thing is right there and shit. And she was like, something happened to your daddy. So I kinda I woke up, you know what I'm saying? And when I woke up, like it was like a lot of motherfucking people out here. I don't know, like he ain't had no shoes on. So I don't know if the gun knocked his shoes off or, or what, but he, he was taking the snake in the house. He was taking the snake in half. I guess nigga crept up behind and hit him up. And like he was like laying, I think he, they say he was laying like on his back with his legs up type shit. The snake was still like around him. I think they had to call like a, a pet thing or whatever, the little pet people or whatever, cause I guess the snake wouldn't let nobody touch him or some shit. This motherfucker boarded up now though. I don't even think nobody ever stayed in this house after this. Motherfucker boarded up though. Like all this shit. That what that what made us move from around this area. My mom wasn't trying to hear that shit no more. I be replaying that night in my head like all the motherfucking time. It's like my first time ever just getting out at this motherfucker since then.